Welcome to the Mac Teaks Roadshow coming to you from beautiful Brisbane, California. Nice to meet you. You as well. Um, thanks for bringing this in. We're, we're really very excited to see this. We saw you online and we picked you out immediately. This is quite a find. I thought so as well. Um, I actually acquired it in 1997 from a teacher, a friend of the family. Mm -hmm. um, just for our reader's benefit, let me introduce the item itself. It's an Apple E-Mate. Um, comparatively rare and actually quite valuable. Oh. More on that later. Let's just run through a few of its features first. It's a grayscale screen, backlit. Um, it was used primarily in the educational market. Um, students would uh, ostensibly sit at their desks and uh, this could communicate with the teacher's email through an infrared port which is found on the back. Um, sadly, of course, Apple failed to support it in the way that it ought to have and it didn't quite take off. However, it was very popular among the collectors um, and we can see why. The design cues definitely offer a hint of things to come in the later iMac models and the, and, uh, the more recent iBooks. And uh, perhaps more importantly, it has a carrying handle. So it's rather actually uh, swish and elegant. Uh, yes. A lady in New yes. York might happily wander the, the streets of Manhattan with a, a device That's such as right. this. That's very right. elegant and very popular among ladies. Um, this is very exciting and it's, it's actually, as I said before, very valuable. Um, any idea how much you think it's worth? Oh, um I know that it originally sold for seven ninety nine, mm -hmm. and um, I don't believe I have that much software with it. So I probably guess maybe a mm, hundred, a hundred and fifty. Well, you'll be uh, very pleased to note that uh, some of these uh, devices have been going for as much as nine hundred dollars on uh, the collector's market. You're kidding. That's on a good day. Oh. I'll be quite realistic. It's more likely to fetch around four or five hundred dollars. But uh, with the market the way it is and the collectability of uh, earlier Macintosh products as it is, an e is a very valuable, very desirable find. It's something you should definitely insure for about $900. Oh, that's wonderful. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for you. coming. Thank you for showing us. Pleasure to meet you. What's your name? Hi, Ian. Nice to meet you. Ian, um, where did you bring this from today? Oh, gosh, I my home. I got this um, about 10 years ago now and, um, when I went to college. And, uh, as I recall, I spent $1,200 for it then. And, uh, know more about it. You spent twelve hundred dollars on this. I did. First I did. Well, there's a few things to say about this Macintosh. Um, it's a Mac classic. Mm -hmm. um, actually, it uh, it originated uh, almost as a relaunch of the original Macintosh platform. Uh, okay. Certainly copied a lot of the design cues from the very first Macintosh, and so they called it a classic, of course. Right. Um, we see here there is some cosmetic damage. This is caused by uh, someone trying to lever it open with a screwdriver rather yeah. than with a device called a Mac Cracker. Gee, which was, uh, could have done that. Yes, yes. Well, it, it's, it's not terrible, but there's a lot of scratching and a lot of chafing, um, <laughs> which is a little unfortunate. But that said, it's not in terrible okay. condition. And uh, if we spin it around here, we'll see that it does have an interesting appendage. Here, we have a Tiffany solid silver security chain. <laughs> which ironically is worth more than the Macintosh itself. Um, the uh, Tiffany Security Mac Headlock Chain was a, a, a very short-term item for Tiffany, and it's okay. probably worth uh, around $30 oh, okay. on a collector's market. However, the Classic itself barely fetched $10 these days. So you this whole thing's worth $40? Mm, you would have to get the Tiffany keychain off. And again, with that... This is what I'm man. I can't... This can't be yes. afford... But that said, it's, uh, it's definitely a collectible item. It's definitely something that you could uh, use around the house. People have turned them into all sorts of things. Land fixtures, uh, Land fixture, man. This is my retirement, man. It can't be $40. Um, I'm, I'm, you know, sorry to give you the <laughs> f***ing hell. <laughs> Thanks for coming to the um, Mac Teaks Roadshow. What have you got for me here? Well, this is um, a Spigot 2 tape which uh, my grandmother told me about. I got this uh, in Cupertino about a month ago. Paid about, um, say about $1,500 for it, and um, I think I got a good deal there. Yeah, well, it's a, it's a very interesting thing. Let's go ahead and open up the box here. And I, I took a look at it before. We got an old static uh, envelope, and we can get an idea just how big this card is gonna be from that. 
and we, uh, here's the actual card made by Supermac, and uh, it's, uh, it's actually a new bus uh, card, so it goes in your older Macintosh, it's not, not your Power Macs, but your sort of okay. 9500s or Quadras or Centruses or, or Mac 2. And um, you're right, this is a video editing card. You can see here, video in uh, both and video out, um, uh, both S-Video and, and Composite. And this is um, one of the first video editing tools made for the Mac. So you have a real collector's item here. Really? Um, it, it, it was actually debuted at the same Macworld in Boston as when QuickTime was first debuted. Mm. And um, for a long time, this is one of the, the only ways to really get video into your Mac to edit it. And uh, it would edit it 320 by 240. You could attach a TV as well as your monitor. You'd use your Mac sound in to record the sound. And you could actually do um, 30 frames a second, but, but only at 320 by 240 with it. And uh, you know, people use this to make professional projects. Um, um, but uh, you know, certainly it's copyright 1993. And uh, today, people would use either a USB port or Firewire. So. This wouldn't even go into a, a modern Mac, but uh, it's definitely good as a collector's item. And I, I also see tucked away in here was um, an old Radius monitor card, so you could have more than one monitor hooked up to your Mac, and that's uh, another nifty item. Um, do you have any idea of the value? You, you said you, you paid fifteen hundred. Uh, yeah, I figured um, by now, since it's a, you know like a collector's item, I think it'd be worth maybe like two thousand dollars. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, it's. Uh, it, you know, it's certainly got sentimental value if you've used it in the past, and it gives a unique, you know, sort of lo-fi video effect that some people appreciate. But in terms of its sort of value on the open market, if you could find, a, you know, an interested collector, somebody who wanted the unique effect that it gave, maybe someone who used to work for Super Mac and is kind of nostalgic, you could probably get a hundred or two hundred dollars for it. But but on eBay today, um, it, they probably wouldn't even accept it for listing. But thanks for bringing it to the Roadshow, and you know, it's still in the original box, and it looks great, and I'm sure it'll be a valuable addition to your uh, computer collection. Uh, thanks, thanks for bringing it to the Roadshow. Yeah. Thanks. Bye. Welcome to the Mac Teacher Roadshow. Your name is? My name is Nara Sue. Nara Sue. Isn't that a boy's name? No. Let's, uh, let's move on to your object. Um, hmm. What do we have here? Can you tell us a little about this? Yes. This is Adobe Photoshop 6.0. My daughter is a graphic designer, and she gave it to me. Mm -hmm. um, the box is in mint perfect condition, never been used. Yes, yes. Worth a lot. Well, there's there's a few things I'd like to run through with it. This this was a very interesting item, um, if you don't mind. Um, Photoshop, as we know, is a, a graphics and photography uh, package for the yes, Macintosh. Yes, my daughter's a graphic designer. That explains where she got this. Does she have a scanner by any chance? Um, no. No? Does she have a printer? I, I don't think so. Uh, interesting. I wonder where she acquired this. You see. Although this, at first glance, looks like Adobe Photoshop 6.0, a comparatively valuable software package, um, upon closer inspection, there's a few details that don't quite fit. For example, it's Windows and Macintosh. Now, the packaging for Adobe Photoshop 6.0 never came in a hybrid form. That was my first clue. My second clue was looking on the back and seeing that there were screenshots from the Windows version of the game on the rear of the packaging. No, she's a graphic designer, not I, Windows. I'm, that's very nice, dear. Um, however, there are more clues. Um, you said it hadn't been opened, but I discovered that it had actually been opened and someone had attempted to uh, glue it back together. Now, there's more to the story than meets the eye. The software, indeed, is complete inside. However, it's not the software that you think it is. If we look here, um, we'll see that someone has very, very carefully and very cleverly managed to forge some of the logo. And if we just carefully peel this back, we'll see that it is in fact oh. Adobe Photoshop LE. Now, no, it's Adobe 6.0. I'm afraid not. I'm afraid the proof is in the pudding. Yeah. Um, this was often given away free with scanners and digital cameras and things like that. And it would often be bundled with other products and actually does not have a retail value. In fact, you would be very, very lucky to get more than say ten or fifteen dollars from this, I was hoping for seven hundred. Um, hope is a wonderful thing; it really is, and and this is a wonderful thing in its own way. It it has an interesting I'm, I'm very story. It has an interesting history, but unfortunately, that doesn't necessarily convert into dollars these days. My daughter is a graphic designer. Are, yes. are, are you sure you're qualified to to evaluate this? Maybe that other guy could come. 
you're, you're welcome to a second opinion, and uh, I suggest you take this to eBay. Hmm. Great, thanks for coming in. Uh, your name is? I'm um, David. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And so what have you brought me here? Well, I brought you our old um, Apple IIc. We used to play some games on it when I was younger, me and a friend of mine, you know, and I uh, just wanted to bring it in to see how much it was worth. He, uh, he met with an untimely end, so I, I, I wanted to see if, uh, if this was worth anything. Well, great. You know, in some ways, the IIc sort of um, foreshadows the Macintosh because it's the, uh, the all-in-one Apple II, mm -hmm. where your other Apple IIs, like the IIe and II+, mm -hmm. Plus, had different cards for the printer card, the monitor card, the, you know, the game controller card. Yeah, the game and the IIc, it was all built in. If I can just, can I? Yeah. yeah. If I can just turn this around, I can just show that you have all the ports built in right here on the back, you yeah, know, yeah. power, printer, disk drive, monitor, modem, uh, mouse, etc. And then you also have this disk drive built in right here. Yeah, and, that's um, put the games. Yeah, and, uh, and it was a, a great little machine powered by the 6502, actually a, a version of the 6502 called the uh, 65CO2. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it was really, re really a great game machine. It had a little button here so you could put it into 80 column mode hmm. and one to change it to the Dvorak keyboard layout. Ah, yeah. And, um, yeah, so how much do you think it's worth? Well, I'm, I'm, I mean, I, I know we paid a lot of money for it, you know, over $1,000. So I'm kind of hoping that it's held its value maybe 500 something like that. Yeah, unfortunately, while there, there is a big collector's market in the Apple IIc, and in fact, this monitor, this little 9-inch green screen monitor, mm -hmm. is actually worth more than the IIc itself. So, like, how much? Well, on eBay, you're going to get this IIc for probably around $5 to $15, but the monitor is going to go for 30 So you have a total value here of around $50. $50? Yeah. $50. Yeah. But it's still great for playing those old games on it. I can't believe this. $50. $50. Yes, this is a t-shirt um, from Power Computing. I got it at Batworld. Well, let's take a look at this. This is a, a Power Computing t-shirt. We're going to fight back for the Mac, 225 megahertz. And uh, from Macworld Expo in Boston, with the IBM logo on the sleeve. That's pretty amazing for old time Mac fans. And uh, is this t-shirt, have you ever worn this t-shirt? No, as you can see, it still has the tag on it. Yeah. Uh, you know, how much do you think this is worth? Well, it was free. It, it, it may have been free, but with power computing gone now and the fact that you've never worn it and this, this famous image, this T-shirt, you know, you could sell this T-shirt at auction for, for $50 or $100. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm, I'm not kidding. This is a real collector's item. There's no sweat stains on it, you know. So it's clearly never been worn by a computer fan. Do you want to buy it? Let's talk afterwards. In fact, maybe we can go out for coffee? That's it this week for the Mac Teaks Roadshow from Brisbane, California. Till next time.